Come here, puppy. Come here. Do I get rid of this thing or not? That's kind of the big question here. I've been going back and forth with this one for quite a while and there's a few different reasons why. This is the 2017 BMW 430i Grand Coupe. I absolutely love this car. Uh, I've talked about it in a couple other videos. Uh, this is a car, it's definitely gonna stick around for a little bit, but I'm already thinking about getting rid of it, giving it to my kids, and then getting the car I ultimately want, which is either an M4 or an M5. But again, I think the M4, M5 might be a little more in the future, so I'm leaning towards like a five series. Uh, the reason I'm leaning towards the five series is you can obviously tell I'm a big guy. <laughs> The 4 Series is a little small, and unless I can get down to previous weights, I definitely need to upgrade to a little bit bigger car. I do like the 5 Series quite a bit. That's actually the car I wanted before I got this one. But due to like ordering circumstances, I got this uh, I got this car through Carvana and just dealing with them. I originally picked out a 5 Series. Uh, I wasn't able to get that one because it got stolen off their lot. <laughs> So I ultimately ended up with the 430, which I've been extremely happy with. So that's currently where I am with the 430. I absolutely love this car. I definitely want to upgrade, but it's like, when do I do that? Now the plans to do the exhaust on this car are not going anywhere. That's absolutely still happening before I get rid of this one. I definitely want to put the FI exhaust on this one. Uh, hoping to do that within the next two months. I've uh, been putting that one off for a little bit just to get other things kind of sorted out, but the FI exhaust is coming to that one. I don't know that I'm going to do too much other than the exhaust on this one because I do have plans to get rid of it and go probably towards the 5 Series. One of the things I'm definitely gonna miss and I'm kinda looking towards another Grand Coupe model is I love the hatchback on this one. Me with uh, having a candle business, I pack a lot of stuff with me so I'm taking a lot of totes, some bigger totes, a lot of packages, a lot of candles and being able to open the hatchback, lay the seats down and get a ton of stuff in the back, almost like a hatchback is a real big plus for me. So jumping to a 5 Series, definitely M4, M5, you're not gonna get the space that this thing has. So that's one of the things I'm thinking about. Uh, I, I am looking at getting a truck also, so I'm not too worried about uh, having to have the hatchback. Uh, I definitely don't wanna use that as an all around kind of pack vehicle. But having that option has turned out really nice with this thing, and it's definitely one of the best features about this car. And then of course, one of the other things that's really dependent on what I get, uh, definitely five series to M5 uh, is gonna be the candle business. I'm doing a lot of things in that this year that are going to, kind of determine which one I go for. Now, I definitely don't need the M5. It's more of a want than it is a real need. Uh, and of course, the 5 Series is just kind of a want also. But again, if you're gonna have goals, you might as well set them high so that even if you come in low, you're still getting some great stuff out there. And for me, the M5 is definitely at the top of the goal. So that's the one I'm going for. Uh, I don't know that it's gonna come second. I'll probably go 5 Series and then M5. And the other reason I really wanna go M5 is just because I do a lot of driving and uh, I, I like my commute. It's probably about 45 minutes to work and back. And of course, enjoy that drive is definitely a big plus. But to be honest, with me being such a big guy, I have already outgrown this car. Uh, I absolutely love this car. But with me being as big as I am, 6'2", this car is definitely not meant for a guy my size. So I might be leaning towards the 5 Series a little quicker than I was thinking. But that's pretty much it. I kind of wanted to put this out there and ask anybody, uh, do you have the 5 Series? Which 5 Series do you have? Which one should I be looking at? And uh, I mean, obviously I want to go M5, so I'm not, gonna even, I'm not gonna even ask if I should go M5 over the 5. But if you do want to, please let me know what you think of the M5 over the 5 Series in the comment section. And I'm gonna go ahead and put up a few pictures of the ones I'm looking at or kind of the style that I'm looking at. So we'll call it quits on this video and we'll see you in the next one.